Hi, hello everyone. Good afternoon to all of you. I am Rosnita from Excel Academy and I am your host for today. Thank you for joining our webinar session for this week. Today, we are with Mr. Alex for Mastering SEO, Improving Website Visibility in Search Engines. Okay, if you have any question regarding this topic, do leave your question in the comment section and Mr. Alex will answer them right after his presentation. Okay, let's not wait uh, anymore. Now I pass this floor to Mr. Alex. Thank you, Rose. All right, thank you very much everyone for coming in today. Um, it's your lunchtime and the fact that you are choosing here to learn only means that you want to grow more, you want to learn latest updates and then some of the important tips on how to increase your ranking on Google, right? On your website. So I have, have prepared a few slides and then also will add some notes in between so that you can take down and then you can take a screenshot. And after the end, maybe five to 10 minutes, we'll have a bit of Q&A sessions. You can ask any questions that you may have. You can also add in the, what do you call comment, your what do you call website link. Eh? Put your website link in the comment sections so that uh, Rose can bring it out. And then I will just paste it and then I will help you do a little bit of auditing. Okay. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen over here. <clears throat> present, share screen, entire screen, share. All right. So we are going to, we will, let, let me share a little bit about SEO, search engine optimization. So what does that mean? Eh? <clears throat> search engine optimization in layman's term means ranking your website in the first page of Google. Right, but on SEO point of view, it does it's, it's not it doesn't mean like that. Huh? It means it's a process of helping you to get traffic, yeah, free organic traffic through natural search results. Right, the actual thing, the actual sentence should be getting free organic, uh, traffic through natural search result on search engines. But for laymen like us. The goal is to rank your website on the first page of Google, depending on the keywords that people are searching for online. If you want to have that SEO to work for you, first, you need to have a website. Okay. Unless you are doing Google business profile, which is another thing. Okay. Unless you have a Google listing, then you also can do SEO, but all in all, Usually when people talk about SEO, it will turn up with website. That's where we talk about website optimization, right? Website optimization. So website optimization is where you publish a website. You want to make sure it is user friendly and you want to make sure the website content is okay. People like your content. People will want to browse through your website stays longer. That's what website optimization is all about. And then SEO is where you want your website to be easily to get discovered, <clears throat> right? Make search engine rank your website faster and easier. So you realize that SEO and website works together. If you want to truly master SEO, website has to be in part of that or else no point, right? Now you may see some of the search, huh? this is called ad search, this page search, right? You have see ad or maybe you see a sponsored, right? Sponsored Google search ads campaign or some other third party website that you may see ads or sponsored. So this is called paid search. It will always appear on the first page, right? It will always appear on the first page or bottom of the page, huh? but first page. Then you also have this thing called organic search, right? Organic search. Whatever below the sponsor ads is called organic search ads. And this is the, what? This is the SEO part that we are talking about. So how do you rank first page on Google? Yeah. When people looking for keywords, say for example, renovation contractors in KL, best renovation contractors in KL, things like that. So basically it's free. You don't have to pay anything. This one you need to pay, right? You need to 
uh, add keywords, you need to add budget, location, things like that. But this one is free. Yeah. So if it's free, then it comes with effort and time. You're changing, exchanging time and effort to help you to rank on Google versus if you are launching ads. Therefore, if you don't have much time, you don't have the expertise and you want to get faster results, paid ads is something that you want to look at. If you have time, some resources or team to help you, then SEO is also a good way to help you to kickstart. Yeah. So let's talk about why, uh, why most people, uh, what are some of the common mistakes or challenges people face when it comes to SEO? Most people will think SEO is where you optimize your website for search engine, right? You optimize your website for who? For Google, for Bing, but it's not. Huh? When you build a website, it's optimize it for who? For user, for your customer, for your prospects. So sometimes people will have this misconception and what do they do? They will try to play the game of search engine. Let's say search engine says, uh, you must have a lot of keywords, okay, or quality keywords. Then people will go into their website and spam and stuff all the keywords. It's called keyword stuffing. A lot of people will stuff the keywords in the website, yeah, to hope that search engine will rank their website. So this is not correct way really. If you are doing that, means you are doing the black hat. So it's not a, it's not a viable practices, huh? You just need to make sure that your website, whatever you do, is for who? For your customers. So make it easy to navigate. Make the website structure looks okay. The design okay. Content is okay. Mobile friendly, mobile responsive, loads uh, fast, have high performance. That's what you need to do. Then at the same time, you keep search engine in mind because now we are dealing with search engine also. Yeah, we are listing our website in search engine yeah for our customers this is what you must have the mindset it is a delicate balance between adding value for your customers at the same time learning how search engine works so that you can get the both out of these both areas all right that's why we will need seo now with the right strategy you can start ranking and optimize for your customers. That's what we were talking about. I will go through with you some of the core pillars when it comes to SEO. What does that mean? What you can do so that you can apply immediately even we only have one hour. It's not a rocket science. It's not super technical, of, although we can, but if you do just a little bit of things, you will see a big changes and shift in terms of the traffic and ranking, right? We will talk about that in a short while. So benefits of SEO. Why, why should we get SEO? Why do we want to rank first page in Google? So that we will get more natural traffic, right? So these are some of the six main reasons why SEO is something that really helps. Doesn't matter what business you are in. Yeah, of course, certain, maybe certain niche of business is a bit difficult. Most of the business is okay that you can use SEO. So one way is you will get high quality traffic. When people type in a keyword, huh? when people type in a keyword, they already have an intention behind. For example, um, five-star resort hotel in Langkawi. So when they see your website is on the first page, okay, and they click on it. So what are the chances do you think people will want to know more about this resort? Or how likely do you think they will convert? It's very high, right? Because they already have that intention. Therefore, these times of quality traffic is good for you. Not like Facebook, right? Facebook, you will have issues like, oh, sorry, uh, I accidentally pressed. Oh, sorry, I forgot what I filled up. Oh, sorry, I don't know why is this. Yeah. So if you have run Facebook ads, then you realize that, oh, got such issue. But SEO usually don't have this issue. If people will be able to come and find you naturally, means that they already know what they want. So what your keyword, your content matches what they want. So the spamming part will be not so high. The leads that you get are usually high quality. 
And of course, you'll get more organic discovery for free. You don't have to pay for ads to get visible. Yeah. And then it will help you drive consistent traffic. One month from now, two months from now, six months from now, one year from now, three years from now. Unless, unless you don't update your content, unless your website got some, uh, uh, is not following Google's policy or else if you maintain it well, the traffic always comes to you. Okay. And it help you save more advertising costs. Like I mentioned, running ads is going to be more expensive for years to come. And one of the reasons is because number one, competition, number two, inflation. All right. So a lot of the, a lot of competitions, a lot of inflations. So the ad costs will always go up and they works in bidding. Eh? That means the more people want to bid on this keyword, want to run ads, the more expensive the ads is going to be. And then it's going to be more competitive because you will need more what? Creativity. You need more creativity to um, make your ad stand out. The more creativity in terms of writing, more creativity in terms of creating images, videos, things like that. So SEO, you don't have to do all these things. SEO, you just need a bit of time to help you optimize, yeah, audit, optimize, so that it will help you drive what consistent traffic for free. In other words, you don't have to pay a lot of money to run ads to keep it, to keep the traffic coming in. And usually you will have better conversion rate. When people come and talk to you, they fill out forms, they are serious, they write long, you know, problem challenges, requirement. Usually these people are serious. But at the same time, they are also doing research on other companies, right? Yeah. So they are usually qualified leads. And these are also building trust, brand, and positioning. When people can find you on search engine, yeah, it will add extra, extra credibility. People will look at you. People will fact check you. People will go through uh, your background, your company, what it does, where is it? So all these little, little things is important. Okay. It's very important. Huh? So let's talk about how search engine works. If you want to learn SEO, this is the first thing we must understand how search engine works. Number one, you must understand you publish a website. It's not just website. Your website must be able to allow search engine to crawl, Google to crawl. So Google will send robots, right? Every day they will send robots to look at, um, is there a new website published in within the Google space? Is there an update on this website? Is there an update or have this website been taken down? Have this website closed down? You know, things like that. So they want to crawl. The purpose of crawling so that they can see, they can do this thing called indexing. Indexing means they will help you record information. Oh, today there's this new website just pop up. Okay, let me register a bit. Oh, this website is all about selling uh, flowers. All right. And then they are based in Malaysia. Okay. Okay. So they have all this information, right? All this information. Then maybe they come sometimes, oh, this website, flowers, all right? Flourish signs. They have new types of products, new types of payment, new types of things, new content, new blog posts. Uh, they will also help you to register so that they can keep a record in their database for what? For ranking. So when people want to find uh, certain flowers, example, this uh, lately is a very famous uh, ter terrarium. Yeah, terrarium or a rose, let's say sunflower. When people type a best sunflower and terrarium uh, artwork in PJ area, uh, then Google will know where to find because they already have record in the system so that they can rank you. This is how search engine works. Therefore, when you publish a website, it's important to make sure Google will be able to see you, understand you so that they can rank you. Sometimes they, you may have issue whereby they don't know what to crawl or they will index you on a different what, on a, what they call on different content. Maybe you are selling flowers. But flowers, there's a lot of types of flowers, maybe Valentine's flowers, Mother's Day flowers, graduation flowers, okay? 
but there's one type of flowers you don't sell like funeral flowers yeah so you, maybe you don't know so so you will may have this conception when it comes to content part it is our job to make sure google understand what we do what we sell so that they can crawl index and ranking yeah now let's talk a bit deeper crawling is to find new pages and record information about them sometimes we call it robots sometimes we call it spiders and the purpose is to discovery is to discover new pages and check if there's any updates or any changes of the web pages and index is like a huge content database which is processed and discovered by search engine for searches searches means you and i so this index is like a database it helps store organize understand what is the content all about to do what so that it can rank you okay so they can rank you lah. so let me this is not important lah. uh index yeah index means rank you index means uh it's inside google space and when people look for keywords it will appear so if you want to know whether your website is indexed that's one thing you can do right you can click on this three dots you will see uh, this website sense and style dot com dot minds, was first indexed by google more than 10 years ago uh, so the longer this the longer the domain name the longer the domain name the better it is yeah because it exists for so long already usually this will contribute to your authority the longer the company exists the more google recognize it the better it is more than 10 years ago so this website is very valuable this domain name because more than 10 years yeah it's good for ranking yeah? you don't have to compare to a new website who just started out all right so there are few ranking signals used by search engine to rank a website for you the first one is called title tag keywords yeah so title tag keywords is where this one this is called title tag keyword sense and style beauty academy home okay this is um title tag keywords and then how would it find and then you also look at the speed of the web page if your website loads very slowly example more than three seconds five six seven eight compared to others if you are one of the slowest definitely it's not going to show you okay unless they think it's very important then it will show and the next one is website reputation yeah so whether the web page and website considered to be reputable for a topic being searched for so if let's say a lot of people type makeup classes okay makeup classes hairdo uh, facial class and then uh, google will register it google will know will understand and then they will rank you in a easier way okay so this is overview about how search engine work and a little bit of how you can tweak a little bit of your keywords website loading speed and reputation to improve your ranking so did you know there are more than 30 web search engines in the world you have bing you have yahoo ask baidu yandex DuckDuckGo, things like that so these are all search engines eh? but but why do we use google because google has more than 90 percent of the market share as of july okay 2019 i don't have yet the latest statistics um if you're not mistaken it's also more than 90 percent in the future we don't know huh? but now we know is google still has the highest market share now when it says google google means um google map uh, google listing youtube things like that yeah google property so instead of using bing ranking on bing we will rank on google but you can apply also the same knowledge to bing or yahoo search engine okay so this is just something extra for you if you want to increase and improve your visibility on search engine let's talk a little bit about core area of seo now you know how seo works you know a little bit about the importance of uh and and benefits of seo let's talk about deeper on what are the things you need to add on to change when it comes to seo so we will talk about three three key pillars of seo 
when you do website, you want to optimize your website, only three areas for SEO. Number one is called the technical SEO. Number two is called the on-page SEO. And number three is called the off-page SEO. Okay, technical SEO, on-page SEO, off-page SEO. So let me explain a bit about what does technical on-page, off-page mean, yeah? So let's do go through the technical SEO first. Now, what is technical SEO? Technical SEO is the action you take behind the scene, yeah, back end of your website, where you go to your back end of your website to improve your, you do certain thing to improve your website ranking, okay? That is what it means. So I'm going to help you understand better by using a notepad. Eh? Three core areas of SEO. So the first one will be technical SEO, right? Technical SEO, on-page SEO, off-page SEO. All right. So technical SEO means going through what? Back end of your website. Yeah. To improve your web performance to rank higher. That's what it means. Huh? I'm going to put A. Now, when it comes to technical SEO, what are some of the examples that you can do? So one of them, you, you just need to remember, huh? it's all about the UX and UI. User experience and UI, user interface. Just need to make sure that these two is good usually these two is part of this one and of course a bit of this one right so let's talk about uh when it comes to user experience what does that mean okay user experience huh? user experience it means okay, let me just put here uh one of them huh? improve your website loading speed okay so this is a easiest way to improve your ranking one way is to improve your website loading speed if your website loads more than three seconds then it's considered slow according to google it has to load within three seconds three seconds huh? to load then it will give a better user experience so what can you do to improve your website loading speed Right, what can you do? Improving web loading speed. Number one, okay, you use smaller image file size. Okay, so you if you have like you know uh I'm not sure have you ever upload a photo like three MB? to your website or 1MB. So for example, uh, you must have at least like, you know, 150 KB like that. You have to find a way to reduce the file size so that it is not heavy on the website. So one image file size, use a smaller one. Get it? Okay. Number two, better hosting. All right. So hosting is the server. Your server slow, okay. If your server is slow, then your website will slow, right? So server is important. It's like a laptop. Your laptop is i core three versus i core seven. This is called server, right? Example, uh, I just use an analogy. Not sure how accurate, but you <laughs> get what I mean. If you are getting a laptop with have very low RAM, low processing power, then it's very slow, isn't it? Same thing with server hosting is the same. So hosting, usually we will have few. One is called shared hosting. One is called uh, dedicated hosting. One is called cloud hosting. Yeah. Most of us is under here, shared hosting. That means you buy a hosting space. Okay, it's like a bungalow. A bungalow, you have five different rooms. So each room, one family. Each room, one family. So now you have five families in the same house. So you are called shared hosting. You are sharing the house with other people. 
So sometimes if you, let's say you have, you are one of the family, you bring 10 friends or your, your, the other family bring 10 friends, each of them bring 10 friends to the single bungalow. What will happen? It's going to jam up, jump back. So your website is going to slow. So if you buy a dedicated hosting, dedicated hosting is like you own a bungalow yourself. You buy the bungalow, only you. You want to bring how many people up to you. So it's all about you. Yeah, you are not sharing with other people. Cloud hosting means you go everything go cloud. So the pricing, it will depending on the, uh, they may have some uh, minimum. Uh, like let's say you exceeded certain bandwidth or certain files, uh, they will increase the charges. Right, cloud hosting is good for international market. Anyone from uh, Malaysia all the way from North Pole, if they have internet access, they access your website is faster. Okay, analogy. Yeah. So what else can you do? Image file size, and then convert JPEG, PNG, um, to WebP format. So this is image, uh, convert image format, All right? Convert image format, JPEG, PNG to WebP format. JPEG and PNG is a default image format, right? So Google has developed another format called WebP. WebP is a format to counter the loading speed because JPEG and PNG is heavy. Then if you convert to WebP, it's like a, a Google version of image format to improve user experience so that the the image will load faster. Can I? So I've shared with you three tips on how do you uh, improve your website through technical, yeah, through technical to improve your, what? Improve your website speed and performance. Now, of course, there are a few more, like for example, uh, what do you call uh, reduce unused JavaScript? Um, what do you call uh, embed videos? And then what else? Um, what do you call the the what do you call mobile friendly, mobile responsive? Yeah. So I just give you a bit of summary of all this so that you can play around with it when you have time. So embed video means from YouTube, you embed to website and then you just upload straight. Okay. Then mobile friendly means, um, when you reduce the size from laptop, from mobile, from tablets, the size will adjust itself. Okay. Yeah. It's responsive and friendly. So when people watch, look at your website, visit your website from mobile, it's friendly. It's easier, it's easy to scroll. Okay. Easy to access things like that. Okay. So that's it for technical SEO for now. Now let's take a look about the second one, which is on page SEO. Yeah. On page SEO. So on page SEO usually will have two things. One, Okay, by the way, let me explain what is on page SEO. On page SEO means content. Okay. Means content optimization. You need to do keywords, right? It's keyword related where you want to improve your content based on the keywords so that people can easily find you right on the page. Huh? On page SEO means anything you do to improve your ranking through keywords, through content. So there are two parts, huh? two parts. First is called content. Uh, it's not content optimization. Content optimization is second. First is called keyword research and analysis. You must do your keyword research first. Then only you know what to rank, right? It's not plucking from the air, from your mind. Just say, oh, I think I want to rank this keyword. Just type no. You have to do your research and you have to analyze it. Then we talk about how do we improve our content in the headline, in the URL slug, um, in the images, things like that. Let me explain. Keyword research and analysis. First, you are going to go to uh, Google Keyword Planner. This is one of the way, place uh, or other SEO tools, okay? Other SEO keyword tools, keyword research tools to look at 
to look at what to look at keywords with high volume search lower competition low competition now this is ideally uh, keywords with high volume search low competition ideally but live there's no such thing called ideal every time right so sometimes we will play around maybe you will get okay volume search but low competition ah uh, then it's okay <laughs> that is okay too maybe you also get low volume search uh, also low competition so you will have to judge hmm is this do i want to rank these keywords yeah so these are some of the ideas for you now so this is the first thing you do huh? you go to google keyword planner you go to seo keyword research tool you go and find keyword we have high volume search low competition so maybe i'll just do one demo for you so one of the tools that we use is called uber suggest right it's very easy to use it's very friendly so for example i will choose um you can sign in can create an account to do more things huh? you don't have to pay so first thing i will choose is uh, the location of a keyword based on my demographics which is country malaysia so let's say i teach digital marketing yeah so i just type digital marketing i want to look at what people are searching for when it comes to digital marketing then i'll click search okay so now you know that oh this is a very high search volume in malaysia and it's kind of higher huh? now the uh, the figure is zero to hundred points huh? okay and this is search volume now i'm not going to look at this this one just tell me whether it's a lot of uh demand or not only so let's go down some more now this is what you want to look at digital marketing objective digital marketing 2022 digital marketing plan template digital marketing cost digital marketing agency digital marketing job digital marketing manager so this is the volume search right 800 1003 2004 and then you also have the cpc cost per click okay and zoom in for you you also have pd pd means pay difficulty you also have sd sd means seo difficulty the higher it gets the more competitive it is yeah you may need more time to rank yeah need more time and effort to rank so sometimes you can find a green color one green color so let's see here click or okay so if you see this one green color means it's easy to rank digital marketing agency uh seo is easy to rank huh? it's easy to rank now so every month there's about 720 keyword search volume okay that one to look for digital marketing malaysia uh, agency in malaysia and then the difficulty is not that difficult to rank so probably is because uh, everyone is very busy okay i uh most of the time when i uh, talk to a digital marketing agency owner uh, they are already very busy yeah? so not many people want to rank maybe this is just what i guess so let's say if you want to um talks about um courses yeah if i want to rank these courses i know this one is a bit more difficult than the previous one and but the volume is very healthy 1006 so maybe i'll just focus on ranking this one okay example so this is how you want to do analysis so now now i've do many many times huh? you don't just put one thing then you search then that's it no you have to try one more keywords few more keywords try 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 then you need to export out export out okay copy the clipboard export cv so then you will need to start filter which one do you want to rank first for which page is it the same positioning as your company is it the same direction okay so this is broad the term really okay so other key research tool example uber suggest i shared with you already now of course there are many like sem rush href those are a little more difficult to use if you are a beginner yeah so keyword with high volume search low competition so now i analyze so once i analyze what do i do i will start optimize already so what do i optimize optimize my title tag optimize my uh uh, what you call or meta tag huh? is the same huh? meta title tag meta description 
and then I write articles. Okay. And then um, I prioritize my headline, my heading, uh, heading, heading, you have H1 to H6. So basically it means that the most important heading you want to tell Google, hey, Google, this is the most important heading, H1. Not so important one, H2, H3, like that. So meta title tag, what is this? And meta description. So let me give you an example. Yeah, I will just go here and uh, I'll use uh, one of the SEO tools, okay? Because they are SEO focused, then it's easier for you to see. SEM rush, yeah. Now, so not, not sponsored, uh, you go down here. So this is what? This is meta tag, title tag. This is what? This is um, meta description, right? So how do you, so you want to optimize this content, optimize this content easier for your user to read, to see, to understand. And if it's relevant, Google will promote this site. Okay. Now there are a few more things like articles, writing articles is also very good because articles, you can rank a lot of what, uh, informational keywords. Okay. Informational keywords. Now I don't have time to explain informational keywords and other types of keywords, but I'll just let you know that, you know, uh, keywords, there are a lot of different intentions. Some keywords are for buying, buying intent. Some keywords are for information intent. Okay. So writing articles can help you boost more traffic. Yeah. So this is something that you may want to explore. And then next one is prioritizing your heading, which is the H1 to H6. So for example, if I go to SEM Rush, yeah, uh, maybe this one is most important to them. They will tell Google, say, hey, Google, this, when people come and come to my website, this is the most important thing for them to see. Get measurable results from online marketing. Do SEO, content marketing, content research, PVC from just one platform. These are maybe second important headline. Okay, so you can inform Google, hey, Google, this is more important than this, or maybe this is more important than this. Huh? Okay. So this is headline. Now, there are also other things like, for example, URL structure, uh, and then check duplicate content. Um, and then what else? Uh, then what do you call, uh, what do you call internal and external linking, right? So you can play around with some of this uh, SEO content optimization to help you. So SEO is a, is a very big game. Huh? It's a very big strategy. It takes time. You will need time to help, right? To improve your ranking. So you have to be a bit patient. And then let's talk about the last one. Last one is called off-page SEO. When people talk about off-page SEO, usually it also means link building. Okay, link building. What does that mean? So example, uh, example. If Star Newspaper, Star Newspaper feature you, feature your website, okay? In an article to their readers, right? And it links back to you. So now you got a one times high quality backlink. Uh, so this quality backlink, why is it quality? Because it's from Star Newspaper. Okay. Or maybe Astro Avani. No, any as, as long as it is an authority regard as high authority website, Google will give you better chance to rank higher because in Google's eyes, they will see, they will treat this as, wow, even this star newspaper, even this star newspaper uh, also want to feature you. That means your website must be good, must be worth the mention. So it will push your authority higher. So in our page SEO, we will look at a few things. Huh? One is called domain, uh, domain authority. Yeah, so star newspaper domain authority should be higher. So higher, better. The points are uh, zero to hundred. Then the other one is called page authority. Now this one is a bit sub, right? Higher, better. Page authority means certain page only. Generally, we'll look at this one, domain authority. 
to determine to help us to rank better. So if you want your website to rank better, then off page is becoming very important to you. So you can also treat off page as like a PR. PR communication, uh, PR and communication. Basically, what should you do? You need to reach out to media, to high authority site. Okay, then get them to feature you. You can do guest blogging. Okay, link exchange. Okay, or you can just, uh, what do you call, uh, paid, what do you call, paid articles to be featured, uh, things like that. So this is some ideas to help you to get more links back to your website. So remember, off-page SEO is all about building links. The more links that you get from other websites, the better you become. Now, of course, when I say more links means high authority links. If it's a lousy link, spam links, it will affect you also. Naturally, a website will be linking by a lot of other people that you don't know. Okay, naturally, if you publish a website, a lot of people will come and link to you, okay? Good or bad, because you have a lot of directory site in, uh, other than search engine, right? You have directory site, you have comparison site, you have review site, so people will start talking about you, right? Uh, or you have like a yellow pages, so it will pull you inside. So you already have a backlink actually naturally, just that you want to get more, get more. So how do you look at backlinks? So let me uh, go back to Uber Suggest. Now, if you um, inside Uber Suggest, you can go to this thing called backlinks. Yeah, backlinks overview. Let's say if I use back um, this company, just paste the link. Okay, so you go down, you will see there are about 600 backlinks three about 400 is no follow right not important huh important is this one so you want, want to see okay who is linking to you who is linking to you now crystal shadow block now i don't know who is this person now let's look at the source okay while well, it's loading let's go back here now you will see this thing called spam score the lower the better right? meaning the website that links to you is a good website now, if you see this one, 83% bad website. Huh? So highly unlikely this is a spam site. So let's take a look. Yeah. Now, maybe it's Chinese, so they couldn't detect. So that's why they put it so high. Okay, don't always trust the software. And you need to fact check yourself. You need to make decision yourself. Yeah, we have to think. Okay, this is JB Talks. I think JB Talks, uh, is okay the whole thing looks looks good to me looks good to me looks good to me example then if i think that okay this is a good website then i will just leave it but let's say if i found a certain site that is uh, very spammy so let's say for example i click this one okay you see uh, don't know why is this i'm gonna just click uh, xxxcollected.com i uh, don't know what what kind of website is this then you have to remove it okay and then what is this site scwt at at then not secure uh, so this is very important no it will it may affect you uh. you want to tell google say that, hey google this please help me remove this one i don't know them and i have nothing to do with them so you need to disavow you need to this do this thing called disavow uh, disavow to disavow to okay Disavow links to your site, yeah? So it's a bit, it can go a bit technical, but basically it's to tell Google, say that you submit to Google, Google, this, all this website is a very spammy site and I don't know them, please help me remove. Okay, uh, that's, that's the idea, that's the idea. All right, so a few more things that you can do. So let me just turn off, turn off. So a few more things you can do, which is to, optimize your Google business profile. Uh, I have uh, shared this with a lot of people. It's free. 
um, everyone should get it, everyone should create one, and then everyone should optimize it for their own business. So I guarantee you will get traffic, you get um, leads. It's easier. It's easy for you to uh, get seen now more than ever than the traditional media. So Google business profile is a listing. Okay, listing your shop offices products slash services on Google. Treat it like a Facebook page on Google. Okay, just treat it like a Facebook page on Google. So how does it look like? If I were to want to makan, okay, if I want to makan today and uh, I'm thinking about uh, Western Cafe near me. So it will appear here, right? So this is called what? Google Business Profile. Now, Google Business Profile helps a lot of local retail um, um, retail stores owner who doesn't have a website. This is our website, right? If you don't want to use a website to rank, okay? If you don't want to use website to rank, uh, you can use this on Google Business Profile. Create one, get a nice picture, improve your visibility through reviews, and then add your services, all those things, it will definitely help you. Okay, so you can just go to Google Business Profile and just click on this one. Okay, so click here and then they will tell you, stand out on Google with a free business profile. Yeah, so many things. So you can manage now. So for example, we have a lot of uh, business. This is just few of them. Huh? Then we can see, um, say for example, uh, let's say, okay, let's say this company, okay, W360. So you focus a lot on Google reviews and then you see people start right, leaving reviews. Okay, so you must reply. Huh? Now this is my, one of my clients. Huh? then you must look at the message, what people are asking. Okay, okay, now I think it's loading, All right? So people will ask you questions, uh, then you must reply, 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 reply. It's very important, huh? And then you can look at performance, like how many people is coming uh, to your site, things like that, right? So I will go through details, yeah? You can see how many interactions, how many people call, how many people message you, how many people click on your website, they will check you out. So it's a very good tool to improve your visibility online. All right. So let me just summarize what we have learned. So today you come into this one hour lunch, uh, lunch learn webinar, you learn about SEO. Why is it so important? Because it helps you save uh, advertising costs, okay? It drives traffic, why SEO? Save at cost, drive 24 seven traffic. It's free, okay? It's more stable, yeah? Better quality of traffic plus leads. Okay, so always remember, SEO is about optimizing for who? Optimizing for user. Keep search engine, in this case, Google, in mind. So then we talked about three core areas. Oh, we also talked about search engine, how it works, right? Search engine, how it works. So one, they crawl. Two, they index. Three, they rank. So how do you get them to crawl, index, and rank? You do these three things, three core areas of SEO. So you do technical SEO, you do on-page SEO, you do off-page SEO. So basically these are the three main things to work on. Yeah, now then of course, how do you do? Now I've given you some ideas to improve. So for example, uh, improve your UX and UI, yeah, improve web loading speed, use smaller image, maybe your hosting or convert image format. Okay, then this one be technical, uh, reduce JavaScript, embeds video, things like that. And then on page, we will have two 
keyword research, keyword analysis, you use Google Keyword Planner, you can use uh, Uber Suggest certain tools to help you improve your ranking. Yeah, so make sure your ranking keywords must have high volume, low competition, then you hit a jackpot. Okay, like I said, you don't have, if you don't have that ideal, then you just balance out, okay? Then you also have content optimizations, yeah. So what to optimize? Optimize title tag, description, articles, prioritize your heading, your URL structure, things like that. And then off page. So remember the star newspaper story is the same thing. So it's about PR and communication. You need to get someone, if you have time, you can do your own. Yeah. So build relationship with someone, do a link exchange, articles, get featured, help them link back to you. And then it's going to help you a lot. All right. And then last but not least is to optimize your Google business profile. It's free. Everyone should have it. Then you optimize for your image products, uh, reviews. Then I guarantee you, you do this alone. You will see changes. You'll see traffic starts coming. You will see a bit difference about your business, maybe more calls, more people checking you out. Right? So these are little, little signals that to track it, you are on the right track now. Okay, so we have about five minutes left. I uh, want to say thank you very much for your time. So right now I'm going to pass back, uh, pass back to Rose. Rose, are you there? I'm going to stop share first. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, just feel free to ask me and I will definitely answer you. All right. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Alex, for the great and informative sharing. Also, thank you everyone for joining our webinar session for today. Yeah? If you have any question, you can drop them now. So just let's a few let's wait a few minutes if you have any questions. Sure, sure. Now, um, maybe I will share a bit more insight. So now people are talking about oh, what about AI things like that came out. Um, mm -hmm. should we use AI? Now, definitely, is answer is yes. Um. Note that AI is not to really do everything for you. It is to supplement, save more hours and effort for mm -hmm. whatever you are doing. Okay, AI too. So you have ChatGPT, you have Bart, you have Bing Chat. Yeah, so use that as a way to improve your progress and processes. At the end of the day, human is the one who feed them, right? So the creativity part, the prompt prompting part is very important to help you um, improve your visibility on website if let's say you want to use ChatGPT. So this is very important and uh, yeah, so make full use of that. Okay, thank you Alex. Mm, I guess today we do not have any questions. Okay, okay so no problem, thank you very much. Shown on the screen right now, these are our upcoming public courses. As for June uh, Digital Marketing Masterclass, the registration is still open. So do contact us if you want to proceed with any registration. Yeah? And if you are interested in any of uh, these courses, please also contact us for more details. Okay, with that, we we'll see you again next time. Thanks All again, right. Mr. Thank Alex. you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. See you.